Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. So let's update our current view on the market. We well, can see that finally we've got our test of significant resistance area around 134.86 at least by the Opera UK meta trader data. I have this extreme for January of 2012. So it's 134.86 area. So you can see market has reached it and tested it already. Recall that this is not only the previous highs on the weekly time frame, but that is also the 50% resistance monthly area of 50% resistance. So that is significant area of resistance and it will be logical to see some pullback to the downside. Anyway, uh, since market just hit it, I think that we now are entering in some term of expectation since we have to, we need to understand how market will, will behave around this area. Uh, what patterns will be formed right here? Will it pass it through uh, as it now exists or market will show the pullback? Anyway, we need to wait for some time to understand what will happen after this touch, at least on the daily time frame. On the intraday charts, there are some patterns could appear that you could trade, especially if you're a scalp trader, you could trade probably on, even on lower time frames. There are, could be a lot of different patterns. Well, uh, but on the daily time frame currently, just few that we could say. So you can see market has appreciated right to this area of resistance, has touched it, now stands somewhere around this level. Trend still holds bullish, market not an ever bought. So the major uh, charts that we have to keep an eye on probably are intraday charts. So on the 4 hour time frame, what we see? Our butterfly that we have discussed yesterday has been failed. So you can see market has shown this bit deeper move to the downside and our pennant consolidation has shifted to some sort of the flag consolidation since market has created the new low. But still, uh, after that market has appreciated right to the 1618 extension of the butterfly pattern. Particularly this action we have discussed yesterday. By some reasons, I think that you remember them. So you can see market now stands at 1618 extension of the Betcher fly. And take a look, market currently is forming the bearish stab grabber pattern. This pattern is uh, kind of unique since the previous extreme low that market should take out if this pattern will work is right here. Because that is most recent extreme that market should reach if this stab grabber pattern will work. Although I do not like this sort of the stab grabbers when they appear at tops in the opposite direction of the previous trend. I prefer to see the stab grabbers in the direction of the trend. Some sort of this, for instance, market has accelerated, shows some retracement forming the stab grabber and stab grabber coincides in direction with the previous thrust. That's the stab grabbers that I would like to trade. But this is a bit different. From the another point of view, we now stand at the resistance and at complement point of the reversal pattern, that is the butterfly. That's why uh, this stamp grabber pattern that is forming currently are worthy of our attention. Besides, even if you will be wrong, for instance, if this stamp grabber will be formed and if you will intend to take the position by it on the short side of the market with the retracement right down, and if you will be wrong, your stop probably will be very tight, somewhere above the extreme of this pattern. Because if market will exceed this area, it could proceed higher. That is some sort of the invalidation point. You probably could place the stop according to the butterfly trading framework. It demands to place uh, the stop one harmonic number higher than the complement point. Anyway, that stop will be not greater than the 40 pips above this level. The target of this potential retracement, if this pattern will work, 
is right here. So taken out of this law. And that is coincide with our area that we have specified yesterday. The retracement that we would like to see market could show. That is the weekly pivot point. Confluence support is 134.5, 134.8 and the upper border of the previous consolidation. Market should hold above it if it really uh, has significant power and really has the intention to continue to the upside. I prefer to see the retracement only till that level. If market will return right back, then probably <coughs> inside of this consolidation, then we will have to wait and uh, trying to understand what is going on since um, this move inside of the previous consolidation it will be not uh, normal for bullish development currently on the market. That will be the worrying bell for the bulls. That's why we will need uh, more analysis, more clarification, more uh, confidence from the market of bullish intentions if market will return right back in this consolidation. Until that happens and until market will stop the retracement right here, if it will start at all, of course, that will be perfect if we just this area and upward continuation. Currently, we have some signs of weakness. On the hourly time frame, the current price section looks even more interesting. From the one point of view, uh, we could say that we first of all we have the divergence. You can see with the CMCD indicator. Okay. Also, market stands at 618 extension of that pattern. A, B, C bottom, 618. And we now have some sort of broadening in top pattern that very often appears at reversal. So, but to trade this pattern, we need to take it out of some significant highs and lows of these patterns of the of this consolidation. That is a bit uh, not very um, suitable because uh, we need the significant to skip significant moves before taking the position. That's why I prefer. To look at it from a bit different point of view, that's another sort of hourly chart. And I prefer to, to look at this situation as the uh, bearish wedge pattern. That is also could be three drive sale. <coughs> Currently, it's <coughs> very difficult to predict will it be the three drive, but very often three drive forms uh, as in the shape of the wedge pattern. <coughs> Currently, we have the divergence. We have this first, for instance, drive or first top inside of the wedge. Now our second is forming. That could be the third as well, if it will be the, the third drive. Uh, but if it will be just the bearish wedge, it could break right from this swing. That is also possible. How it will develop it currently very difficult to say. Will it be the three drive or will it be just the bearish wedge and market will break this area, break the support line by this swing. But anyway, that is the patrons that are forming usually on the when the market is, in, is, is housed. So that is its housing patrons. And that tells us that uh, market probably could show the retracement back down to the areas around 134 area. Well, that is my thought currently. Will you take the position on the stop grabber or not? It's not very significant. You could probably try to enter later if market will form some other patterns or if you trade on the daily time frame you probably will skip this intraday uh, trades because on the daily time frame trend is bullish and uh, in general the context is bullish right now. We just wait to pull back to the 134 area initially. So those of you who trade on the daily time frames probably should sit on your hands and wait when the adjustment will over. Those of you who trade on an intraday charts um, Try to catch any patrons that you could. Uh, maybe this time grabber will be useful for you. Maybe you will find something else. Maybe you will try to trade inside of this bearish wedge <coughs> by placing the stops above the support line, also above the resistance line of this patron, with the hope that market will show the breakout to the downside. If market will form the free drive patron, that will be much better since we know how to trade it. Now, Forex Milder School, we have a nice manual that could explain the all uh, steps and framework of trading of the uh, free drive patron. So that's all for today. Uh, keep an eye on this current situation because it's very important and very responsible, very significant uh, situation since market stands at the monthly resistance. That is very a solid resistance area. Well, and uh, some pullback could happen in the nearest trading sessions.